Hi everyone, welcome back to the channel. So well, if you're new here, then let me introduce myself. This is Kazio Amitasan, and I'm doing my PhD in School of Computing at Queen's University. Well, recently I received a lot of message from my juniors about uh, making a video on how to select a thesis topic on their respective research field. So I decided to make a video that can serve people from all aspects of uh, departments or all aspects of engineering fields. So being a computer science uh, graduate and doing uh, my PhD in computer science background, I, I will be more comfortable uh, on suggesting the thesis fields or research fields on computer science. But I may not be the perfect person to discuss about other research fields of other, other engineering departments. So in this video, I'm going to divide this video for, into two parts. Firstly, I'm going to discuss about an overall strategy or overall tips that can serve people from all departments. I mean, it can be mechatronics, it can be triple E, or it can be mechanical. And in my later part, I'm going to, uh, to give a talk or like show you guys example about how one computer science student can find their thesis topic as well as some respective professors um, from a website. So let's jump into the main content. So let's start with the tips for students from every department. So the steps one would be identify your interests and passions. The first thing you need to do is introspect and ask yourself, what are my areas of interest in your respective engineering field? Think about the courses you have enjoyed the most or the projects that have sparked your curiosity. And then narrow, narrow down your interest and that this will make the process of process will be much more easier and much more enjoyable. And the step two is be, would be explore current trends and research areas. It's crucial to stay up to date with the latest adv advancement in your respective engineering field. Read research papers, follow tech blogs, attend some conferences to familiar with, your, with the research topics and the cutting edge technologies. And this exposure will give you valuable insights and potentially inspire you to explore new avenues in your thesis. The step three would be consult with your professors and advisors. Your professors and advisors are excellent resource when it comes to choosing your thesis topic. Schedule a meeting with, uh, with, your, with your respective professor or advisor uh, and discuss your uh, research interest and get their suggestions. They have like extensive knowledge and experience in the field and they can guide you towards your relevant research uh, areas or topics and don't hesitate to reach out to them. They are there to support you. Now the tip four would be evaluate the feasibility and scope. Before finalizing the thesis topic, it's essential to assess its feasibility and scope. Consider available resources such as data set, equipment or software that you may need to complete your research and also think about the time and effort that required for the project. It's crucial to choose a topic that is challenging enough to demonstrate your skills but also manageable within the given time frame. So that's, that is one of the most in, important consideration. Now step five, five would be brainstorm and narrow down your options. Now that you have explored your interests and researched current trends, consulted with expert and evaluate feasibility. And now I assume that it's time to brainstorm and create a short list of potential thesis topics. Write down all the ideas that come on your mind and then prioritize them based on your interest level and then consider them to go ahead. So writing down the topics on pen or pen with using um, papers, it, it, this is one of the most important steps that I believe because I'm a huge fan of pen and paper. And the step six would be conduct a preliminary literature review. Once you have narrowed down your options, conduct a preliminary literature review to gain a deeper understanding of the existing research in your chosen topic area. This will help you to identify any gaps or areas that require further exploration. And moreover, it will ensure your thesis con contributes to the existing body of knowledge and adds value to the end. Then step seven would be seek feedback from peers and mentors. Share your shortlisted topic with your peers, mentors, seniors, and get their 
or valuable feedbacks. Discussing your ideas with others can provide fresh perspective and help you to refine your thesis topic further. They might also point out potential challenges and suggest relevant resources that you, uh, that you might have missed. And also collaborating with others can greatly enrich your research experience. And last but not least, step eight would be make a final decision and start planning. After considering all those previous steps and feedback, it's time to make a final decision on your thesis topic. Once you have chosen, created a detailed plan outlining the research methodology milestones and deadlines. This plan will serve as a roadmap to keep you focused and organized through, throughout your thesis journey. So, well, these are some eight general steps that can help you to plan and research about your thesis topic and get a quick kickstart plan. So yeah, that's all for the students for all the departments. Now, in the later section of this video, I'm going to share my experience and my tips regarding finding thesis topics for computer science graduates or the students who are currently uh, in their third year and searching for their thesis topic. So let's move into the, that part. Before going deep into the video, I must share my opinion here that this uh, whole thesis selecting uh, thing is solely my personal opinion. This may vary to person to person. I am just sharing my experience with you guys and the way you can find the thesis topics and respective professors easily. So this is the web page of csrankings.org. I will put this website's link in the description for your convenience. So let me give a quick overview about this website. So this website offers you a good list of areas and some institutions. Uh, and these are the rankings of these institutions uh, based on the publications. So you can see that uh, you can search for the ranks in the world, in Europe, in Asia or African and any other uh, continents or in the countries. So I'm just keeping it uh, in the world. So, and on the left side, you can see a bunch of uh, research areas like artificial intelligence, computer vision, machine learning, uh, some robotics, some cryptography, etc. So you can simply search based on this um, respective areas. And on the right side, you can see that a list of universities based on the world rank. And you can see uh, the University of Michigan ranked at six. And if you click here, so it will give you a whole list of faculties and this is something like a gold mine for computer science graduates because you can easily access these faculties websites basically personal websites uh, for read their research papers for uh, get information about some uh, future phd vacancies so this is something that you should check regularly so let's uh, let me show you that how you can find uh, respective papers based on one specific research field. So just put this uh, section off and suppose you are interested in machine learning. Just click here. So it will show you the ranks of the universities um, based on the research on the machine learning field. So let's see that uh, which professors work in Cornell University on machine learning topic. Just click here. You can see that these are the uh, professors list who are work on the machine learning field. Suppose uh, let's go in one of the faculties. This is Jayadev Acharya. So let's click in this link. And this is the homepage of this professor. And you can see that you can uh, read the information about the research interest about, about uh, this professor. And also like you can see the publications. Suppose you want to uh, know about the recent recent uh, publication machine learning. So this is this will be the most um, important and most informative way to do and this is like this is the publication the publication name is the interactive interface under information constraint so you can read the this publication uh, easily and sometimes these websites also have some information about how you can find um, a PhD vacant position in the lab so you can search for that We're back in the home page and let's search for another professor which is like a Christopher D. Sa. So let's click on his link 
and you can see that this is the home page of that professor and if you read carefully then you can see that he leads a lab that is called relax ml lab if you click here then it will redirect to his research lab and also you can find some information about how you can join his lab so this is one of the most uh, efficient and easy way to search professors as well as get information about vacant positions in their respective labs so well this is all my suggestions regarding computer science graduate about searching for respective research field as well as universities and the faculty's website so well that's all for today i hope you like this video and i really hope that this video might be helpful for third year graduate students or so, sorry not graduates third year undergrad students to find their thesis topic so yeah that's all for today see you guys soon in the next video take care